and you just might be the next success story. Ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed in all of its forms. Greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge, has marked the upward surge of mankind. And greed, you mark my words, will not only save Teldar paper, but that other malfunctioning corporation called the USA. I have chills. All right, it's a classic scene from Michael Douglas in his Oscar-winning role as Gordon Gecko in Wall Street. Watch it tonight on CNBC, CNBC Cinema at 8 p.m. Eastern time. But before you do that, we want to debate that very thought with all that's going on in the world around us, Europe's debt threat, the housing crisis, ballooning deficit at, at home. We're going to ask, is greed good? Joining us now is Fred Smith, president of the Competitive Enterprise Institute. We also have Terry Burnham, Director of Economics at Acadian Asset Management, also a former economics professor at Harvard Business School. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Fred, let me start with you. I always loved this, oh, I'm sorry, and also co-author of Mean Genes. I was supposed to say that as well. Forgive me. Fred, let me start with you. Um, you know, the essence of that comment was really about the leverage buyout business. That's the context. You know, he was talking about how greed for assets was wringing inefficiencies out of the economy, where there were bloated balance sheets and where there were assets that weren't being used, um, you know, most efficiently, that greed in the buyout business was taking care of that. Do you believe in that? Well, Danny DeVito said it better in other people's money. But yes, the argument is greed is just a pejorative term for the human condition of self-interest. And it's the only thing that drives mankind to make the world better for all. You know, if you look at Mother Teresa, a wonderful woman, very altruistic, but Mother Teresa didn't bring hundreds of millions of people out of poverty in India. It was self-interest, it was the market, it was free enterprise, it was greed, if you will. Terry, let me ask you this. If I substitute the word reward for the word greed, does it work for you? Don't people want to be rewarded for hard work, for merit, and for success, and therefore it is not a pejorative? Well, Larry, absolutely. The first thing I would tell you from the science of neuroeconomics is that all decisions are emotional, so all decisions result in reward behavior in the brain. All decisions are emotional? All decisions. People who have lost their capacity for emotional reasoning can't make decisions. They have the the flaw of analysis paralysis. Hmm. So even when you think you're making a decision that's not emotional, when we put you in a brain scanner, you're gonna see that your emotional centers will light up. So the notion of rationality as some abstract concept should be thrown out the window. Well, of course, though, remember, although rationality is always bounded in the world we live in, the institutions that channel self-interest, rewards, greed, if you were, into better and worse actions depend tremendously. The, the genius of capitalism is it took a basic human uh, drive, rewards, self-interest, greed, if you would, and in, it harnessed it to produce the wealth and knowledge that is doubling our lifespan, eliminating poverty by the hundreds of millions of people, and making it possible for mankind to be better than he would be all by himself. Yeah, Terry, let me just go back to this. Um, Arthur Brooks of the American Enterprise Institute, formerly Syracuse, has a good book out on this very subject. He says, look, the human motive is for earned success. We want to do good things and help other people while we do it, and that money is just a metric, so that the greed part isn't really nearly as important as doing something good, succeeding in something. And that is the essence of the free enterprise culture. How do you react to that uh, point of view? Well, money is a powerful motivator. If you show people images of money, again, in, a, in a, a scanner, you'll see their reward centers light up. But most people, money is only one of many motivations, so I would, I would agree with that. And with respect to your emotional aspect, are you, are you saying that people don't want to succeed? Or I'm not sure I understand. In other words, the instinct to be rewarded for good work, hard work, and success. Are you saying that's not rational, but it's emotional? Or are you saying that it's neither rational nor emotional? Uh, well, what's somewhat puzzling about this is that when we seek these rewards, we often do things that are self-defeating. So when mm -hmm. we make investment decisions, we often make decisions that make us poorer. This is the province of behavioral economics that points out the failings of human nature. And I think it's part of the reason why some people argue the need for regulation and intervention is because people left unfettered will not yeah. lead themselves to but the perfect that's outcome. A, 
Barry, Terry raises some good points, but there's another book called The Origins of Virtue by Matt Ridley, who points out that the genius of mankind is to create the institutions that allow man's basic nature to work well. All of the attempts to rely on emotion or ideology or altruism, well as uh, well intended, have led man and put them into poverty. It's only when you've harnessed those forces of self-interest, rewards, yeah. greed, that you create the world that is the beneficial world we live in. It's the only hope for the peoples of the world. Whether it's instinct or cultural evolution, it's something that we ought to be valuing. And there is another word better than greed. It's self-interest. It's human nature. It's self-interest. And, and that's one of the tenets that you can always count on. I mean, that's what you're saying is that this is, it's one way to base the system because you can always count on people seeking self-interest. But I would say, you know, greed, you don't have to be greedy for money. I mean, there are people no, in society no. that are greedy for other things. So maybe you were saying self-interest, you know, is a better word than yeah. greed. You can be greedy for, you know. Status, power. Look at the end intellectual class. Well, or, if or there's anyone more greedy than the intellectual that sound more class, benevolent. You know, you can they were power, they were the control. Of the odd people. thing about this, Fetty. though, the odd thing, Terry, is that this was meant as a put down of America and the American right. economy. And yet, right. the 80s and 90s were a fantastic period of economic growth and prosperity for all people. The pie grew larger for all people, despite the problems we have, Terry. I mean, that's the irony is. My, whatever Michael Douglas said. Not everybody went to jail in the end, is that I, what you're saying? I mean, really, a lot of great things came out of that period, and I think the movie tries to denigrate that period. Yeah, well, Larry, that's so, a very good point. Hollywood always tries to... The villains in Hollywood forever yeah. have been capitalists, pigs, yeah. and so on. But ho Hollywood can't tell a story without heroes, <laughs> so even when they want to make them villains, they turn out to be good villains rather than bad villains. All right, well, Terry I would Burnham, add. Frank I would Smith. add. Yeah, go ahead, Terry. Last well, word. I would add to this that it's not as simple, though. I would be firmly in the middle in saying that Fred is wrong if he thinks that money <laughs> is the if money is the only way to organize no, people and motivate them. No, self-interest. And, and on the other end, if you think that uh, government intervention is the only route, the problem, of course, with government intervention is that there are people who are making those decisions too. So They're greedy have, too. They're greedy exactly. too. Exactly. So uh, well. it's more complicated than one side or the other, and I, I would disagree with the notion that money is the only way to motivate. Yeah. I mean, Mother Teresa I mean, was greedy, but for good things. Right, exactly. The personal reward of helping other people, money the emotion is, she felt as a result of that, that right, was her exactly. motivation and self-interest. Money is a yeah. metric. People yeah. like to do good and succeed.